Alright, so my newest mod is this uh, Colt Rally Art rear bumper, which I think looks so damn good. It was very hard to find though, but I finally found it in the junkyard here in Sweden, so now I'm happy, happy days. I will have to paint this silver to match the rest of the car. I will also paint the lower spats you see here. I will paint this maybe gloss black with diffuser. And you can see here, tuned by GDM Performance. So here, that's the guys who tuned this car to about 200 horsepower before the mods. You've got a little Japanese license plate. Fun thing is when I brake, the brake actually illuminates the license plate so I can see a reflection of it in the rear window, which is pretty cool. With some Renault stickers, booty gang. And, uh, also, I made this sticker by myself. It's the same sticker that's on uh, Koenigsegg cars, actually. Uh, it's Since I was a little kid, I've always been loving Koenigseggs. So I thought it was a bit funny to put this uh, Koenigsegg Ghost logo on it. And it's a bit of a carbon fiber effect. I don't know if you can see it in the reflections, but maybe, maybe you can see it. And I put this uh, little spoiler extension on. And these little vortex generators, also the short fin antenna with a cleaner look. Here you can see we have some BBS forged wheels. Weighs about 6.4 kilos, 6.4 kilos per rim with some uh, funky spiked lug nuts. And uh, here you can see also a little special uh, lower door protectors to protect from paint chips, stones and shit flying onto the door sills and damaging the paint, which they have done. So I wanted to prevent it from doing further. I also like the look of it, looks a bit, yeah, a bit unique. I also think it matches pretty good with the window line. And uh, yeah, some of my dream cars have a similar things like the Sephora with some paint and black in the doors. And also, yeah, as you can see, the ghost Koenigsegg cars. I'm a big fan of. We have got some uh, Team Hecko wind deflectors, some uh, <laughs> wind deflectors on the mirrors. A bit much, maybe, but yeah, I like it. Uh, silver border because I think the window is so big, so I wanted to look a little bit smaller. Below. Maybe I will uh, plaster the piece. Uh, here, I'm not sure though. Damn, it's very windy here. Uh, however, I've painted these uh, headlight covers, but uh, I don't know. Something has happened. We have got gunnery or something. <laughs> so I, I will definitely have to repaint these. I think I uh, cleaned up the surface too poorly. And once again, a wind deflector or a stone chip protector for my bonnet. Uh, bought it from Ventel.eu and I've got the uh, Rallyard badge there and the Nishimoto front mount intercooler with a GT4 play uh, intercooler piping kit to cut a bit here you can see and cut a bit here and there and I put this uh, grill mesh uh, in front of these parts instead of behind them as uh, stock because now it won't fit with it behind so I just zipped at it here and I think it looks okay uh, yeah you can see also I've painted this portion here black all the way I think it looks a bit more aggressive like a big dollar green step inside some JDM stickers, of course. 
So funky floor mat. Yeah, I know it's very dirty in here. Sorry about that. I painted this uh, dash like dark metallic red. I put this boost gauge in with a, uh, an adapter which I bought from Marcus Carlson. He makes these uh, adapters very very good, very easy to install and looks super neat. I got the uh, scan gauge 2 connected. Uh, it's very good because in stock you can see barely anything like water temperature which can be pretty good. I got the uh, <laughs> steam wheel cover with a carbon look. Yeah. <laughs> and now we can uh, look under the bonnet. Let's see here. If I can, uh, I can open it up. Oh yeah. And here you can see some candy, like the Diner Days Turbo Inlet Pipe, which is uh, larger diameter in stock and not ribbed for her pleasure. So this is smooth, truly smooth, all the way down to the turbo. And down there, it's hard to see, but it's an Arashi wastegate actuator with a little filter going to it. Yeah. Also you can see the intercool piping down there. There's the actuator somewhere. And a forge type RS, fully recirculating, adjustable dump valve which is the best for these cars. I have a quality tuning meth housing with a 60 to 80 reducer from Do88 connected to a HKS 200 millimeter intake filter. I got this Mission Motor oil catch can connected. Yeah, and also tuned by GDM, like I said before. Uh, the exhaust is pretty much standard. Just the uh, secondary cat has been deleted, replaced with a straight pipe. And uh, what more? There's a front pipe between the first cat and the secondary cat. Uh, I got another, I think it was a Yep Speed pipe connected there. But uh, it was like exactly like the stock one, just polished, so that was a real. Unnecessary part to install. I do not recommend that shit. However, we got some more sticky thingies like this uh, rally art badge and uh, this little puppy, <laughs> Poppy Grace Mate from Japan, to give the car a bit of a scent and a bit of a riser look <laughs> because all the little kids in their EPA tractors and A tractors drive around with these things. Yeah, so I think it was a bit funny thing to put it in a sleeper instead. And it's actually from Japan, not from Sweden, like the IPA risers tend to think. Uh, yeah, what more can I say about this car, really? I don't know. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. So maybe we can start her up. Maybe we can see if we can hear the dump well. Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day!